Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. So today's video I'm going to try as quickly as it possibly can go through the ongoings and happenings over the next month and then take a deeper look at next month's side event because I don't want to make a separate video for everything and today has been a very very busy video day and I'm trying my best to record these as I can. Uh, so yeah, anyways, the happenings over the next month uh, are relatively kind of like similar. So it's going to be a Canadian-centric event for sure. Uh, I already have covered the early uh, champion spotlights of Guardian and Sasquatch. We're also getting uh, Hulkbuster rework, which is awesome. And basically the whole event is going to be centered around uh, Alpha Flight, which is kind of like Canadian superhero team. I don't know, Canadian X-Men or Canadian Avengers, but yeah. So we got uh, Sasquatch and Alpha Flight. Uh, we have a side event, uh, Explore the True North. Take a, uh, take a trip with a Guardian to, under to uncover the secrets of the North and track down this uh, ever elusive Sasquatch. In reality, the event base is simple and it's something that we have pretty much seen already Exactly, and that is uh, when we had these mall man quests where we have a quest where all of the rewards are on the paths You basically gain nothing for completing and exploring it and you gain all of the kind of like net rewards By selecting which path you want to do and that has a great benefit uh, first and foremost for exploring the lower level difficulties Because you can pick and select which items uh, you personally need and which ones you can do without so you don't have to bother exploring all of it Additionally, it has no energy charge now the big Biggest critique about Mallman's event obviously was the length of it, which Kabam seemingly have reduced. I think it's going to be 8, 8, 12, and 12 parts uh, per quest per week. Uh, so we're going to see how long it actually is based on the number of fights uh, there. But uh, they said it's shorter, it's kind of like what feedback they received. Uh, so that looks good. But I'm going to return to this event and its rewards and the structure a bit later. But first, let's go to the rest of the uh, happenings of the month. So we have Celebrate Canada Day with a special calendar and solo objectives uh, so we're gonna have a two week uh, calendar that rewards maple syrup uh, which is basically potions and poutine uh, potin I don't even know how you pronounce that whatever that Canadian thing is somebody can uh, elaborate I have never heard this word in particular and that's probably something deeply Canadian but effectively it's gonna function as a revive and uh, here is going to be the big takeaway each and every summoner, I believe, will be given a three-star guardian for free to use uh, next month's quest. And I think it's also going to be necessarily to use him in order to get some sort of objectives. But the point being is, that is a really cool thing that everyone is going to get a free three-star guardian to play about with him, to learn his abilities. And I think about should do that more often, because realistically, three stars don't really have any value whatsoever for even the newer accounts, like I started my new account and I invested resources in exactly one three star, which was Quake. And uh, other than that, I just didn't bother because there was never a point in the game's natural progression where I had to rely on three stars. And the first and minimum champions I started investing in were pretty much already four stars. So yeah, I think Kabam can pretty much freely give out more three stars on a regular basis, especially if they are the new champions. So more people actually get the chance to play with them and experience how it is and then decide uh, whether they want to rank them when they acquire them as five or six star champions, for instance. So yeah, that is a cool thing. That is one of the kind of like uh, the nicest things, I guess, that many people definitely will be excited because uh, it's not always easy to get a new fresh champion in this game. Now, uh, it's time to use that three star guardian for some uh, special Canada Day objectives where you can basically get uh, five star hero shards and signature stones. And if you so happen to be uncollected, then you can utilize the guardian and the Canada Day to receive six star hero crystal shards and more. So this, that does sound quite interesting. But the main point I think that I want to emphasize again uh, would be that uh, maple syrup and poutine because the last time we saw that was that uh, love juice uh, thing I think when Deadpool was trolling everybody uh, in February and that was extremely beneficial for everybody kind of like exploring Abyss and stuff like that because they were really potent potions that you largely acquired absolutely for free so that should be able to boost kind of like everybody's uh, 
content progression, if you will, uh, especially kind of following the 4th of July sales, if you can spend on that and so on and so forth. So it might be a good time next month to actually go and explore content that you have been putting off for a while. Uh, the fact that Act 6 is in limbo currently doesn't help too much, but if it's Variant, Abyss or Labyrinth of Legends, then definitely by all means go ahead and do that. Now obviously we have the battle group assignments coming, which are uh, were revealed in the short-term roadmap already, which is going to be a nice, neat thing. Uh, definitely helpful for officers. Also, top alliance champions, where you can uh, display your top champions for alliance quest, alliance war attack, or defense on your profile, and then it should help your officers to kind of like design the defense assignments and so forth. And uh, this thing is quite interesting. I'm uh, actually quite happy for this. It's not a big thing. It's just like a small quality of life change where brand new fight menu. And uh, this does look like it's better organized, less scroll and you can kind of like just tap on it and uh, be happy with it so yeah I like that fight menu it looks quite uh, clean quite neat and uh, yeah I do like that it's obviously nothing game breaking but it's just a small thing that uh, is still quite nice now there's a whole bunch of bug fixes and I'm not gonna read all of them you can uh, read through them yourselves um, there's nothing kind of like major there I think nothing game breaking but uh, yeah some bug fixes are coming uh, the one thing that I didn't talk about yet would be specifics of the uh, monthly event with the Canadian difficulty which is a new thing and uh, unfortunately uh, as always and as I have been stating actually in one of my last videos Kebab never gets everything Exactly right. There's always a certain group of people who are disenfranchised. Now, Canadian difficulty is exciting thing for everybody, and everybody wants to test new level of difficulty plus the increase of rewards. And that is something that is a long overdue and long coming. Uh, the problem, however, in this case is um, the level 60 gap. I, I think it's unnecessary. I think it's going to outrage so many people, and uh, I don't think players in game level has anything to do with their ability to play the game and their account progression. Um, what's the point of titles then? If you're gonna put this new event difficulty behind like a barn, like what's the point of person being Cavalier? Because uh, realistically in this game, it's w the people who have started playing this game from the very beginning automatically will be level 60, regardless of how serious they take the game how well they fight or where their accounts are at just the fact that you have played the game for a very very long time will ensure that you are level 60. however if somebody who is relatively recent to the game uh many of those people are like level 55 level 56 level 57 level 58 because those levels take a very very long time to kind of like acquire and uh by design, Kabam made story content the only content that gives a lot of these levels to you. And that is the big problem, because when you go in Uncollected Event Difficulty Quest, when you go in Heroic Master Mode Quest, or any other content in the game, you get pittance, hardly any points of experience, and you could be playing for two years if you're not, if you haven't realistically done the story mode 100%, you likely also might not be level 60 even if you have kind of like i don't know complete act 5 start working your way in act 6 slowly maybe have explored act 5 even you still might not be level 60. so uh, i think this is just kind of like absolutely unnecessary and wrong way of uh judging people this is completely filthy and wrong, especially because, as I mentioned, there might be many of the quote-unquote newer whales or just very determined players who have been playing this game for a year or two have acquired a very good account progression level, have gotten that uh, Kavalia title, have a decent roster, just don't want to be bothered exploring Act 5 and, and or Act 6 100%. And just because of that, they apparently don't qualify to play this thing that everybody's excited for and realistically should have nothing to do with your player level but with your progression in the game and uh just as i said before and ever there's any good announcement kabam still somehow managed to rather to, just to, to ruin it to absolutely like ruin it for so many people obviously it's not affecting me on my main account i'm level 60 i'm gonna be perfectly fine but uh 
I have had already so many messages saying like, what gear is like, why? I'm level 58, I'm level 57, there's no way I'm gonna be level 60. First and foremost, if they are absolutely adamant that it has to be level 60 cap, they could, <laughs> they could have at least given some sort of heads up that this will be the case, let's say, going forward in two or three months. So for now, work on increasing your level and actually give some sort of advance warning to the people so they actually if they are adamant at it. I don't think this level 60 hap should be there at all whatsoever. But uh, as it is right now, uh, I think it would have only been kind of like fair to give an advance warning or get rid of it, yeah. Because uh, just, again, unnecessarily ruins it for people due to no fault of their own, just become because of some arbitrary measurement. Because your level is not connected to your prestige, your level is not connected to your account size, your level is not connected to your ability to play this game. Whilst I understand some level restrictions are necessary to kind of like regulate some aspect of the game, but this is definitely not one of those cases where if you're good enough to become Cavalier, if you're good enough to actually tackle this difficulty, then you should be able to do so. And I think this is extremely tone death and uh, Again, at a time when so many people are so unhappy and with the game and Kabam in general, they just do keep doing one of these things where a group of players always get pissed off, even while staring at a good amount of news. So yeah, uh, that definitely, definitely 100% should be reworked, and uh, I don't think it should even be put up for debate at this point. But yeah, uh, what else I wanted to mention, other than that... Uh, yeah, we're going to have several difficulties. There's going to be like one path, I think, that's not noted. The rest of them are going to be noted. I expect it to be hard, obviously, because it's going to be a new increase in difficulty. There is going to be no more normal difficulty. Uh, so we don't get additional difficulty. It's just effectively everything kind of like gets bumped up a bit because we have Canadian difficulty. They got rid of the normal, which is the lowest difficulty, which is fair enough, I guess. But uh, rewards and rewards... Uh, good and bad. Now, first and foremost, 6% of tier 5 class catalyst fragments, that's kind of cool, because uh, that is a substantial amount, because uh, that is, uh, again, <laughs> it's not a substantial, obviously it's patent, but compared to how much AQ typically gives or how much IW has given out, uh, it, it's something, and it's only a side event quest, and we're actually going to get quality monthly difficulty, it's something. Obviously, I would like it to be more, I would at least like it to be like 5 of these crystals, so it's 10% of tier 5 CC. But, but it's a step in the right direction, so I'm not going to criticize that bit. Uh, also, half a tier 5B, that, that's okay, especially combined together with the epic difficulty rewards, which is 9,000, so I get uh, 27,000, which would then be half, my bad. So half a tier 5B in between epic and Canadian difficulty is also kind, kind of like decent amount. Now, I do wish that there was more tier 2 alpha, because tier 2 alpha is exactly the same pretty much in between Canadian and epic difficulty, but... Uh, 5 star shots 2500, I would have hoped for a bigger increase, but here's a big problem. Canadian difficulty only has 2500 5 star shots, and they have actually reduced the amount uh, from epic difficulty, because at the very worst months recently, we have had uh, at least like 1500 6 star shots typically available, because uh, like even now this month we get 50 6 star shots for every day, which adds up to 1500 per month because if you get to do it 30 times. And that is a very bad amount, and we have had events where we definitely are able to get more 6 star shots than that. And 2,500 is nowhere near enough amount of 6 star shots to actually make some sort of relevance or seem like enticing for that. So I think the rewards are definitely... I'm, I'm not... I don't want to scream uh, foul again, I don't want to be too negative, but I think uh, realistically the amount of 6-star crystal shards in the side event, realizing that it is the side event, should at least be doubled, at the very least. And I think tier 5 class catalyst fragments, I think would be much better at like 5 or 6 of those crystals to give us 10 or 12 percent, and the rest of the stuff, like half a tier 5 basic next month from these side events, it's, it's alright, it's not too bad, like a couple of tier 2 alphas, again, I wish it would be better. Obviously, the good bit is that we're going to be also able to kind of go and quote-unquote loot the lower difficulties for zero energy, which is another good plus plus for this side event quest, which is always appreciated when side events do not cost energy and do not interfere with your like regular questing. Uh, so yeah, this side event is energy free and that is the good bit for sure. But uh, overall, 
I think Ankabam says this themselves that after this difficulty gets released, they will be looking to get a lot of feedback. And I think a lot of feedback they shall get because uh, Amount of Six Star Shots definitely, in my opinion, is nowhere near juicy enough to make that event look interesting. Tier 5 class Catalyst Fragments being available for like the first time in this type of event is nice, but I definitely would much prefer it to be like 10 or 12 percent there. And uh, that 60 level cap is bonkers. So no understanding why it's there, like, I, I really fail to see connection of one's player level to their ability to play the game to their roster or whatever. Because, uh, yeah, uh, it has never mattered, realistically, once you kind of, like, I don't know. So, th there's a lot of stuff happening, some good, some bad, as always with Kabam, we can never get a straight on good announcement, so overall it does look better than we have seen it uh, till this month. I'm excited to see the Canadian difficulty test on myself. I feel super sorry for the people who will be unable to do so because Kabam didn't even bother to give anybody any notice about this level 60 cap uh, or chose to put it there in the first place, which should not be there. And uh, yeah, I don't know, we'll see what happens, but uh, definitely looks far more interesting month than this one. And uh, that is going to do so. We get a free three star guardian, we get Canadian difficulty. Uh, let me know what you guys think. I definitely already expect there's gonna be very polarizing comments. There's gonna be people excited. There are gonna be people who are gonna be swearing their uh, little mouth off because of that level 60 cap think also the reward structure is cheekily uh, brought down and uh, not quite up there to what majority of the community would expect and uh, yeah so take the good with the bad and uh, as always I'm just trying to put my point across and not trying to find fault with everything they're doing these are genuine is issues that I hope will get addressed extremely shortly but uh, that will do for today so as you are mesmerized by the beauty of this tiny little green creature uh, please go ahead hit that like button hit that sub button uh, drop a comment let me know are you excited for the next month are you excited for the next month's champs side event potions uh let me know what poutine is po poutine but uh either way hit that uh subscribe button notification button share button show this video to your alliance mates and i'm gonna catch you guys soon see ya